we've got 12 guys with, with some Super 14 experience. Is it about as good as it was going to get for an Auckland team in kind of rebuilding though? Yeah, but I mean with that too, a lot of those guys that, that you mentioned uh, have had very little Super 14 and young and maybe uh, got it a bit early, prematurely. And uh, you know, I think that a lot of them are still finding their feet even at this level. So uh, yes, it's good that they've had some experience there, but they're a long way from being experienced football. So you acknowledge it's a pretty raw Auckland team? It is. I mean, uh, as someone mentioned once before, I mean, uh, when was the last time an Auckland team had no ex all blacks in it? So, I mean, uh, that shows how long, you know, the kind of experience of this. And a tough start, because of the yeah. Hawks Bay, like uh, a team sort of on the rise. Do you, do yeah. are, you, are you sort of weary of... of oh, very much. I mean, uh, I think everything they've been doing over the last uh, couple of years indicates that. I mean, they've had uh, two semi-finals in a row. Uh, they've got uh, they've, they've recruited well. They've got uh, Thomas Waldrum, who was uh, who's an outstanding footballer, number eight. Uh, their whole forward pack have played, I think, uh, Super 14 rugby. So uh, there's confidence and belief. And uh, on top of that, I understand they haven't beaten Auckland for a while, so they'll be using that, I think, as a bit of motivation during the week. And uh, they've been wanting to make it first for a number of years. Are you really measuring stick there? Really? Yeah, it will be. Yeah, it'll be a good measuring stick for us. So we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Just with the team, what's the story with Pakalani? Not having played in the scene, but what's the, what's the appeal about the goal? Uh, again, he, uh, we were concerned about our depth there in the wing. And, uh, and here's an out at Canopy, and uh, in a lot of the sessions we did early in the, mid during the season, we were impressed by the way he conducted himself, the way he worked, his feel for the game, his, uh, his, uh, his strength and contact for a small guy is good. And, uh, you know, so it was all about that we didn't have a lot of other choices, so we looked at him and we thought, well, there's an opportunity for him. And we looked at him playing under-21s, and we liked what we saw, so we thought, well, give him a good crack. And uh, in every game, he's, he's, he's proven to be able to handle it, so we're more than happy with where he's, how he's come on. Happy for you in your 50th game for the province to uh, lead Auckland out onto McLean Park on Saturday. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a great honour. You know, my 50th game and also being able to captain. I was just pulling in temporary for um, Peter Stanley. He's injured and hopefully he'll get back soon. But yeah, no, huge honour and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So what are you going to be saying to the boys? I mean, you're one of the old heads in this very young side. Um, I guess um, just to the boys, we've we just got to front up. We've got a pretty young side and they're quite an um, experienced side. But, uh, you know, it doesn't, that doesn't change anything, you know, we're, we're going down there to get the points and I'm um, just going to, you know, we're just going to real, really bond together and uh, go down there and, uh, you know, do our best. What lessons do you think have been learned from last season's disappointing cup campaign for Auckland? Um, I guess we just want to um, earn some respect back for, for Auckland and just, uh, you know, the proud history, you know, we're representing and, you know, we realised that and uh, we had a little session today and Brady showed us the history of uh, Auckland and, you know, something we're all proud of and something we want to sustain and uh, really, um, yeah, yeah, just keep on uh, carrying on and make our own history as well. Yeah.